The Las Vegas Metro Police Department shared several facts today, including the fact that there's no video evidence Jorge Gomez ever pointed his gun at officers. The family and the family attorney say that they want to see more from city officials. He ran away. What did they do? They hit him twice in the head, four times in the back, two times on the left side. Jeannie Lara, mother of Jorge Gomez, tearfully remembers June 1st, 2020. That's the day her son was shot and killed by Las Vegas Metro Police Department officers during a Black Lives Matter protest. This is not a trial. The purpose of today's proceedings is to present the public with the essential facts surrounding the death of Mr. Gomez. On Friday, Detective Jason Leavitt, the lead investigator in Gomez's death, presented facts of the case to the public, including why there was no body camera footage of the shooting. His team had been placed in uniform because of the uh, uh, protests and the civil unrest that was occurring. Uh, but since he is not a daily uniformed officer, he was not assigned a body worn camera and was not wearing a body-worn camera during this incident. Leavitt says none of the four officers directly involved in the shooting were wearing body cameras, but all stated they shot Gomez after he pointed a gun at them. Applicable charges had Mr. Gomez survived that night. He would have been charged with assault with a deadly weapon on a protected person, four counts, uh, CCW or carry concealed weapon, as well as possession of a short-barreled rifle. However, when you watched the video evidence in this case, did you see Mr. Gomez level a rifle? I did not. Okay. You'd agree with me that from the evidence that you provided today, there's not a clear depiction of him raising a rifle. Do you agree with that? I would agree with that. This was not to build public trust. This was more of a circus than anything. And it's, 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 it's embarrassing, it's shameful. Attorney for the Gomez family, Rodolfo Gonzalez, says there is still a long way to go in making sure Gomez gets justice. The Gomez family does not deserve this. They don't get, they don't deserve to be kicked continuously time and time again. They deserve dignity. They deserve respect. They deserve more than anything, honesty. Our community deserves honesty. We didn't get that today. In Kirikazuka, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. On the same night, just a few minutes before this incident, there was another shooting involving Metro Police. One of the officers was hit by gunfire. Officer Shay McAlotis was left paralyzed after a man not part of the protest shot into the crowd of demonstrators.